Hi and welcome to the Freelance Channel. My name is Florante and we're back with another video. And today we're going to talk about universal control. And for those of you who are not familiar with it, universal control is an Apple ecosystem feature that allows you to seamlessly use a keyboard and mouse on multiple Apple devices, including your iMac, MacBook, and an iPad. Unfortunately, it's not available for all iPad and Mac devices, so be sure to check out the list of compatible and supported versions if your device is supported. Okay, so what do I need to use universal control? First thing is, of course, you need to have a compatible iPad or Mac device. You also need to be logged into the same Apple ID or Apple account on all of the devices that you're going to use. And for this demonstration, I'm going to make use of iPad Air 4 with iPad OS version 15.4. I also have an iMac with Mac OS Monterey version 12.3. Second is, of course, you need to be connected to a common network. And of course, number three, which is the final, is you need to have your keyboard and mouse. Now, if you're wondering if this will work even if you're using a third-party keyboard or mouse like Logitech, well, you don't have to worry because it will still work, at least with my experience. I'm using Logitech MX Keys. Okay, I have the Logitech MX Keys standard version. And for my mouse, I do have the MX Master 3. So how to set up universal control? First step is you need to go to your Mac's system preferences. You just have to click on the Apple icon and in the drop down, you'll go ahead and choose system preferences. Now once you are in the system preferences window, click on displays. In the displays window, click on universal control found at the bottom of the screen. Now there are three check boxes and you just have to make sure you tick all three. Then click done. All right, so now that you've taken care of the setup on your Mac, let's go to the iPad. So go to your iPad settings by clicking on the settings icon and on the left sidebar, choose general. Then, under General, tap AirPlay and Handoff. Now, be sure to toggle Handoff and Cursor and Keyboard. Once you've done all six steps, you can go back to your Mac's System Preferences. Click Displays. And then click the drop-down arrow that says Add Display. Be sure to choose the device name under link, keyboard, and mouse for universal control, not the mirror or extend. From here, you will see the configuration of your devices. You can rearrange the displays by dragging the image of the device to your desired position. If you have multiple Mac devices, you can relocate the menu bar. However, you can't move the menu bar to on iPad. It's only on Mac devices. All right, so let's go ahead and see how it works in action. So for me to use my mouse on the iPad, I have to drag my mouse cursor to the edge. In this case, the right side of my Mac. And as you can see, once it reaches the edge, the mouse pointer, which is an arrow tip on my Mac, turns into a circle okay from here I can open a notepad and use my mouse and keyboard straight away and just type in and that's it now if you would like to disconnect or end universal control you just go back to the displays and then display settings then choose iPad and click disconnect all right that's it well, I hope you found this helpful and if you would like to see more videos like this as well as videos about working from home, please consider subscribing. For those of you who are providing virtual assistant services and would like to upskill or niche down to podcasting, check out my course, Podcast VA Masterclass, 
where I teach the ins and outs of podcasting and how to help your client manage their shows efficiently. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. And before I sign off, remember, leave the dream life without leaving the home. I'll see you on the next one.